get up out of bed, it's weekend time, it's Saturday morning, and we all know one thing here at the Breakfast Lifestyle, courtesy of your snack society. You know pizza's for breakfast. It is? It's always for breakfast. Everybody always loves pizza for breakfast. But what if I told you, Brandon Wright, SAS, that at Heel Will Mahoney right here, you know what I have? What do you have? You know what I have? What do you have? Pizza isn't just for breakfast. Not when it's a breakfast pizza. Oh, oh come on. You trying to steal my show over here? It's a whole new version of pizza night. You might as well call it pizza morning. What? Here today on The Breakfast Lifestyle, we are going to review breakfast pizza. <gasps> yes, indeed. Courtesy of our friends at Aldi. Aldi. Breakfast best. It's Western oven bake breakfast pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, this has cheddar cheese sauce, mozzarella, eggs, ham, onion, green and red pepper, on a rising crust. It rises. <laughs> is this the way to start your day? I'm not quite sure. I'm worried. <laughs> this is going to be an entirely different breakfast lifestyle, but pizza is always good for breakfast, so can this really be bad? We're going to find out, and we'll be back right after this. Good morning. It's been cooking up in the oven. The breakfast pizza is here, and I am not sure what to think about breakfast best. Western oven baked breakfast pizza from Aldi. As you can see, it's really odd looking. There's like cheese kinda around it and egg. Kinda. And then the green pepper is like just right here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like weird that the egg is so like slap like randomly on there. It's like there's a big con concentration here, randomly some here. And there's supposed to be ham, and there's some ham there. Is there? Bad, really, just buried under oh, the yeah, cheese. There it is. There's a little bit of ham over yeah, here. There's yeah, there's ham like right here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all there, but wow. it's just such a random mix of it. Yeah. Now, as far as scent goes, I'm not really getting any scent. I'm definitely not getting an egg scent. I'm not getting not much of anything other than no. heat. Yeah. I'm not getting. <laughs> I'm not getting a pizza scent. I'm not getting egg scent. I'm not getting ham. It's just it's there, and it's just like kind of. Huh? I'm smelling warmth. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the question. Let's see how this cuts. All right. All right. Breakfast pizza. Ooh, it looks like cutting. Very easy. surprisingly easy. Yeah. Look at that. No problem at all. Notice there was no crisp sound of the crust though. No. It, it just kind of went right through it. But hey, I like that. I like soft bready pizza. Okay. So I'm gonna go through the other side here. Now did this go directly on the oven rack or was it on a pizza pan? How did how was this prepared, Mrs. Zeal? Um, we want parchment paper on a cookie sheet. Okay. Right. The crust is definitely nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Um, now these are running for three ninety nine at Aldi. So, mm -hmm. but it's a whole. Does someone necessarily need to make an entire breakfast pizza? <laughs> is like kind of the question. Says real there, but it doesn't say real cheese. It just says real. Right. <laughs> it's kind of real it, cheese. It's not an artificial product. It actually exists. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure what else to say about it. At this point, I think we just need to dig in and find out if the breakfast pizza should be part of your breakfast lifestyle. We'll be back. Here we go. Everyone knows pizza's for breakfast, and now we find out if pizza is part of your breakfast lifestyle when it's a breakfast pizza. I don't know, folks. I'm going to scoop it in right here and see what I can get. Now, I'm purposely going to go for this piece over here that I can tell has ham on it because I'm not <laughs> sure if they all do. It's coming off real easy. I'll give it that. It definitely detached easy. It's a nice little bit of steam coming off there. Nice and floppy kind of, but not yeah. totally loose. Not kind of, yeah. definitely not soggy. Definitely yeah. cooked all the way through to the center. I'm liking that. Take your pick there, Mr. Brandon Reich, SAS. I don't want to too many peppers on it, so I'm going to go with this one over here. It's got some ham on it as well. All right. And we know we've got some Aldi fans amongst the SAS group. Oh, do we? We do indeed, Miss Rachel R. Uh huh. And Jamie and uh, Carter, big Aldi fans, okay. as well as other folks. I've had my issues with Aldi in the past, particularly with the deli style pizza the okay. crust tasted like cardboard. All right. I hope that doesn't happen here. So far here the crust looks interesting. I still can't get over that there is really no scent to this. No, not Unless that. you get right up in it there's kind oh, of the peppers coming yeah. a little bit. But yeah. otherwise there's really no overriding scent. It's not breakfasty, it's not pizza-y. Look how white the bottom side of the crust is. I mean, isn't Oh yeah. Like, that's not an issue from cooking. That's just there's like so much flour involved in this yeah, this is this is a weird one. When I got it at Aldi yesterday, they only had two of them. So let's just dig in and find out here about breakfast pizza. Right. 
Right. Bam. Mmm. Cheesery. Mmm. -hmm. Creamy. Mmm. Um. Whoa, I got some some ham coming up here. That's what I was reacting to right away was the cheesiness of mm -hmm. it. Was, it. It was very surprisingly cheesy. Yeah. The rest of the toppings haven't really shown up yet, so let's see, see what happens. The cheese is the overwhelming one. I'm getting the ham. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the egg in there because the egg and the cheese blend together very closely. Mm -hmm. The crust, it isn't crispy, but it's firm and it's doughy. It serves as a decent vehicle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste bad. It's not cardboardy like that other deli style pizza thing. No, definitely not cardboardy. Mm -hmm. um, it's not disgusting. Mm -hmm. It's. Mm -hmm. I would say it tastes better than it looks. Mm -hmm. I would say. Am I necessarily blown away by it? No, but I'm pleasantly surprised. But I think my expectations were very low going into this, just on the appearance of it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you got the right idea there. Let's get some of that hot sauce and bump this up and see uh, what that does. I'm sure it can only help the factor. Mm. But so far, by no means wow. nasty. Let's get Miss Cholula involved here. Mm. See what we got. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Um, this is a weird one because it's a whole damn breakfast pizza. No way do I see this keeping well. No. You know, like a normal pizza. You know, usually for one breakfast pizzas, it's the pizza left over from the night before. This, I see within an hour it being disgusting. You guys split it with somebody. Yeah. One or two other people and mm -hmm. get this thing done and down yeah. pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. But what this is, is wake and bake heaven right here. Uh-huh. Holy crap. <laughs> you get, if, especially if you, you're the one that doesn't have to put it in the oven and you just happen to... Be the waker and baker. Uh huh. <laughs> Holy crap! This is ready for you when you're in your kitchen. You're like, oh man, this is for me. That would be a bonus. If you if you got 25 minutes to spare to make it, because that's it. There was no microwave instructions on it. This was had to be done in the oven. Thank God. Um, it's it's interesting, but I think God, I can't give it a full thumbs up because it's, it's a weird darn item. This is like out there, but this definitely plants the seed. That in the future, I think the Snack Society will be conquering our own breakfast pizzas. But as far as the Aldi version goes here, from Western Oven Baked Breakfast Best, I can't say it's the best, but maybe a solid... God, it's somewhere between two-thirds and three-quarters. It's in that range. I, it's, it's better than I expected, but who's going to eat this whole thing? You know? Uh, again, the waker and the baker, <laughs> he, might, he might have the inspiration with, to really give it a go. With proper inspiration, anything is possible, as we say here in Absolutely. the Breakfast Lifestyle. I'll go, heck, I'll go three quarters. This is interesting. I'd really like some people to check this out. It's better than it looks. That's how I'm going to sum it up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give it three quarters as well okay. uh, overall. Reason being is because you can't really taste all the separate flavors. Mm -hmm. It's like all one kind of cheesy gooey amalgamation of yumminess right rather than being like this like oh ooh, mm, mm, hey mm, yeah mm, mm, oh there's ham and mm, there's peppers no it's all mixed together into this one kind of thing it tastes pretty good and does the job that it's supposed to do and it does that job really good as it looks up at the lights <laughs> and it takes the one two three oh yeah I'm giving it three quarters thumbs up. This is definitely a wake and bake item. This is also a nice hangover item. Oh. This thing is built for soaking up all that alcohol you were drinking the night before and you feel like crap. This this is made for that. Absolutely. Because it's not necessarily great tasting, but it's heavy, it's thick, and it's going to just soak up everything in there. Heck, maybe even, you know, right you, have, you have this right before bed. Exactly. <laughs> the same thing. exactly. <laughs> you have this right before bed, it'll probably get you ahead of the curve. You know what else will get you ahead of the curve? If you like the breakfast pizza, if you love the breakfast lifestyle, you got to go where it all started on that Facebook group. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of us are there. Why aren't you? You're dragging your feet. You're like, man, I'm not into the Facebooks. But... <laughs> You don't have to be into the Facebooks nope. to be into the SAS group on Facebook because we're, we're you know, locked down. We're a, we're a compound. We're a cult, if you will. <laughs> Not everybody gets to interact with us. We interact with each other, and it's all between us. So join us by clicking on that link down below. Become one of us, and you'll have the best time of your life. Also, you got to follow us on Twitter 
and Instagram at Brandon Reich SAS and at Heal Will Mahoney. That's right. You take those handles at Brandon Reich SAS at Heal Will Mahoney. You can follow us all over the social media on Twitter and Instagram. And you know when you do it, it all comes together in one convergence with hashtag Snack Society. And when it's breakfast time, it also comes together with the breakfast lifestyle because we all live the breakfast lifestyle. And we want to know what you're having for breakfast to live your breakfast lifestyle. One more thing. You know what you need to do? You need to join the Four Horsemen. You gotta like, favorite, share, and subscribe to mm. complete the cycle. In the meantime, in between time, hell, we'll see you next time, guys. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, baby. Bye-bye.